This is one of my other rescues. She came from a litter of eight. Yeah, we, uh, my mom and us kept four of them. And we found two of them. We found real good homes for Interviewed, processed, and visited the houses and all that. And then FAIR, Foundation for Animals and Risk, uh, found real good homes for the other two. I salvaged a couple of the uh, of these shower doors and sliding glass doors. I've got a couple different kinds uh, because I was going to make a uh, I was going to make a greenhouse on the south side of the property, but uh, I just measured this out and it's within about an inch, inch and a half of the exterior diameter of the uh, bread box, the old refrigerator we're using. So, happily, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to have a piece of glass cut. I just want to get this cleaned off so I can try it on it. Uh, I don't want any dirt in on that surface that I'm gluing up. I just want to check the, uh, the glue, see if it's holding. It's sticky. I mean, it's sticking. It's curing. I want to show you the difference in the sun at this time of day. If you remember, at 3 o'clock, the, the sunlight started over here in the corner and went straight down all this. And right now, let me get at the end of the box. It looks like about... Half the box is uh, getting sun. I dropped a little of the caulking down on my solar screen, on my reflective screening, and I went in to get a wet rag because it says it's a water cleanup, and uh, in just that little bit of time, it had almost hardened. So, in the sun also, I think, contributed. So you have to act fast. <laughs> A lot faster than I thought it would. I had no idea it would set up that soon. But I kept applying water to it and rubbing gently, and I did get it off, finally. So that's a lesson learned. Nice breeze today, huh?
Okay, we're uh, loose fitting the side panels in now and we got to this rise where the hot water side is going to be resting. Um, and when you try to fold it in, it bulks out. So we're going to have to cut this in a couple pieces here to get it to fit snugly. If you notice, um, I use the uh, insulative insulation out of the uh, that midsection of the refrigerator in order to bring up the flat spots of the sides. This wasn't for insulation purposes. This was just to make the application of the sides a little evener across and also to provide those air pockets that um, are good for for thermal uh, activity, thermal restraint. So that was just glued on with that caulking. So we made it, we needed another caulking. Took one caulking gun just to do the base. So it may need more for the four sides. It wouldn't surprise me if it does. That's nice. The ledge that's already there on the refrigerator trim, you can tuck the foil right up under there. It makes a nice little finish. Down here, we're gonna have to cut a little lip. Yeah, there we go. Okay, time for the glue again. Hundred and three, hundred and four. Oh no, that's ten. Hundred and ten. One fifteen. That's already up to. 120 right there. Um, I had to see if I had enough caulking to do the, the sides and uh, I looked inside and it looked pretty shallow so I put in my tool and to get a measurement and it's that much there's only that much left and I don't think that's enough to do a whole side so back to the hardware store.